Oh, hey, friends. Mm, welcome to Super Stretch Kid Yoga Play Date. Do you know this is number four? Woo, yay. We're here to share all the yoga love with all of you by teaching you fun ways to flip the negative switch in your mind and plug into your superpowers. Your superpower is balance. Ooh. And balance to respond wisely during tough times. Are you having a tough day? I am having a really hard day. I can't see my friends. I can't go out and play. My parents are no fun. And I miss my best buddy, Michael. Sometimes it makes my heart hurt. And when my heart hurts, ugh, I just feel heavy. Are you having a tough time? Are you feeling heavy, sad? Are you feeling silly? Oh, well, we want to make you feel really good so that you can breathe, stretch, and play and make your day a happy one so you can stay healthy and happy. Just like when you eat an apple, it's healthy for you, right? That's what your parents say. Well, when we eat apples and when we stretch and breathe and play, it helps us keep so healthy, but it also helps us stay happy and positive. So, okay, superstars, remember that you can do the best that you can, and if you can't do all of it, it's totally fine. Hi, friends. Let's start our adventure together. When we take a deep breath in and a deep breath out, and we put on our listening ears, magical stuff can happen. And I know like when I'm sad, my parents try to tell me to turn obstacles into opportunities. Those are big words that I don't understand. So when I don't know the big words, I think what it means is that you're trying to find new ways to do things. Like say that there's a rock in front of you, like you can't see your friends. Well, you try and find new ways to go around it, or under it, or even over it, so that you can step forward and be the best person that you can be. Because that's really what Super Stretch is all about. It's our mission to breathe, stretch, and play. But our mission also is nothing is impossible. Always be honest. Make the world a better place. Act with kindness share with others, trust and believe in yourself, even when your heart feels heavy because you can't see your friends right now. And most importantly, enjoy and have fun. That helps you to stay so balanced. So let's start doing some cards together. And the first one that we're gonna do is we're going to do lotus flower pose. See my friends? They're sitting in lotus flower pose. Hi, Gabriella. Hi, Molly. Oh, Molly, I love you. I hope you're doing well in Duluth. Maybe we can hang out and play and have a social distance walk or talk. Oh, all right, here we go. We are gonna sit in lotus flower pose. You don't have to sit on a cushion. Miss Justice likes to sit on a cushion. All right, and as we sit crisscross applesauce, we are gonna try something that helps me to get all the yuckies out. It's called a dog breath. Do you have a dog? Mm, I don't know if you have a dog, but we're gonna try it. If you've ever seen a dog, they like to wag their tail and shake all their troubles away. And they like to play too. So let's pretend that we're a dog and we're gonna practice breathing like a dog. Okay, so it's really easy, it seems really funny, and you're gonna see my tongue. So we're gonna stick it out and we're gonna breathe out through the mouth like a dog and go <sighs> deep from your belly, really deep down from your belly. Okay, are you ready? 
We're gonna try it again. Stick out your tongue. Breathe from your belly. Whew. All right, that was good. But did you know it's really good for dogs to breathe through their tongues, to relax and release all the heat that they build up from playing so much? But for kids, what's really good for us is to breathe in and out through our nose because it wakes our bodies up and it energizes our mind. So it almost feels like you know, during Christmas when all the trees are lit up and they have all those pretty sparkles around the tree? Well, that's what happens to our mind and our bodies. They kind of become connected and they brighten up not only the day, but they brighten up your mind so that every part of your body is happy and alert and awake. So let's see if we can wake up our bodies and turn our dark thoughts to light today by taking some nice deep breaths, just like a dog, but in and out through the nose. Let's try it. Hands on the knees, smiling as you look forward at me on the camera. Hi, I see you. Okay, you ready? Oh, how you doing? Lofty skis, I miss you. Sending a kiss to see at Lake Tahoe. I watched some of your videos, you're freaking awesome. Okay, here we go. Heart is held high. We're gonna breathe in and out through your nose and let's try it 10 times. Are you ready? Woo! Uh-oh. I have to make sure, just like when I have to cough, I cough into my elbow. Now I gotta wipe my nose. So I'm gonna wipe my nose because that made my nose run. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Deep breaths from our bellies to brighten up our minds and our day, just like a Christmas tree. And we are going to be really nice and slow, and it's really easy. Do the best you can, just like a dog, but our tongues are in and we're breathing through our nose. Ready, set, go. Ten of them. Ooh, it was hard for me to count and breathe at the same time, but you did a good job. I'm really proud of you. Victory! Yay! Okay, let's start our yoga adventure today as we have our listening ears on and we're gonna take some ni nice deep breaths and we're gonna go visit our friend Tada, the standing dog. Okay, we're gonna stand strong on our own feet, reaching high as steady as a mountain empowered to be your best self. Ooh, that's a big word, but we're gonna tap into our superhuman strengths and really work ourselves into being the best that we can be. So here we are, we're standing up and I'm just fixing my yoga mat because it got all crumpled up. And as you stand up nice and tall, we're gonna take and breathe deeply. Palms face forward, shoulders back, you can almost feel space between your earlobes and the tops of your shoulders. Let's take two deep breaths together. Are you ready? We're gonna breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, blowing the clouds away. Let's try it again. Breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. That felt really, really good. I don't know about you, how did it feel? Did it make you a little bit happier? I hope so. Let's go visit now Pawnee the silly monkey. See him? He's kind of silly. We're gonna tickle our toes. So let's take and reach up high to the sky and like silly monkeys jumping from tree to tree, let's see if we can go get some bananas. Do you like bananas? I love bananas. I have my apple that helps me stay healthy, but I also have bananas. Hi, Rita. Hey, everybody. Okay, here we go. You're standing tall and ta-da the dog, but now we're gonna become a silly monkey jumping from tree to tree, trying to get some bananas. Reach one arm up high and let it go. Reach the other up high. 
<sighs> and let it go. Bring both arms up nice and high. Take a big breath in like you're climbing the trees, trying to find the best bunch of bananas that you can get. And then whew, with a little bend in your knees, the banana dropped to the ground. Oh no, let's go try and get it. Let your head hang down. Sway your tail from side to side. And then, can you tickle your toes? Tickle, 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 tickle. Woo! Roll up, taking three deep breaths. Rolling up. Whew. That felt so good. Let's try that again. Reach up high to the sky. Bend down and tickle your toes. Tickle, 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 tickle. Sway your body from side to side as your head hangs. And slowly roll back up. Big breath in. Good breath out. That was so awesome. Let's do something even more fun than the monkey pose. We're gonna reach for the sun. Do you see my friends here, David and Layla? We're gonna move our bodies and do something called Surya, the sun salutation. Okay, you wanna try it? Reach for the sun, dive down into all the fun. Stretch up and look to your nose, jump back as you hold yourself up by the hands and the toes. Slither like a snake and down dogs we all make. Leap your feet to your hands and on your shins your face lands. Reach way up high and draw hands back to heart center. Share the positive energy and let all the beautiful light enter. Wanna try it with me? Okay, here we go. We are going to do Surya, the sun salutation. So I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, dive all the way down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Ooh, there's my booty and my tail. Ha -ha. And exhale, step back and lower down to the ground. Slither up like a snake. Down dogs, we all make. Woo, good job, down dogs. Yeah, wag your tails. Bounce a little bit. Ooh, that feels good. And then step your feet to your hands. On your face, your shin lambs. Reach up high to the sky and bring your hands back to heart center as you let all the beautiful sunlight and brightness enter. Whew. I don't know, do you feel that? I feel my body and my head kind of tingling. Whew. That feels good. And I also hear, feel my heart rate a little bit faster. Do you feel your heart rate faster? Let's take a deep breath and then we'll try it again, okay? Surya the sun salutation. Big breath in. Good breath out. Okay, here we go. Stepping and looking forward, reach up high. Dive all the way down. Lift and lengthen and step back. Ooh, you're like a plank, like a pirate. Arr! Can you lift one leg up? Good job! And the other leg up. Woo! Lower all the way down. Lift your heart up high. And snake. Can you slither from side to side as you make an S sound? And then down dogs we all make. As you're a down dog, look to your toes. Can you spread them out wider? 
Whew, look to your fingertips and can you make your hands flatter to the ground? All right, down doggies, wag your tails and step your feet to your hands on your face, your shin lands and then reach up high to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center as you let all the beautiful, positive vibes enter. Good job. That was amazing. Okay, now we're going to go visit our friend, Hero One. See, he's pretty cool. So Hero One is where we are going to strike a pose, be strong, compassionate, and peaceful. You want to try it with me? Okay, so we're standing nice and tall. Reach your arms up high to the sky and step one of your feet back. And then you're in a good hero pose. Looking forward, reach up. Try to let your shoulders relax as your arms reach up. And now you're gonna help me, okay? So we're gonna make noises. And for parents, I know it sounds loud, but this actually helps to release stress and anxiety. And we all wanna release stress and anxiety even as an adult, right? So here we go. Let's reach up high, exhale. Oh, that was fun. Let's try it again. Reach up high, exhale. Oh, Can we do that five times in a row? Let's try it. Reach up, oh, for one. Reach up, oh, for two. Reach up, oh, for three, Woo reach up, ha, four, reach up, ha, five. Ooh, that was good. Okay, step your feet together, and let's find the other leg. So step the other leg back, reach your arms up high, and see if you can clap your hands in the sky, right? Because you're number one, you're a hero, you've got this. Here we are, our arms go high, our toes are spread wide, our back is nice and long, and we feel strong. Exhale, ho, for one. Reach up high, ho, for two. Reach up high, ho, three. Reach up high, ho, four. Reach up high, Five. Okay, as loud as you can. Reach up high. Six. Oh, we did an extra one, but that's okay. Let's see if we can do our friend of Hero, which is the Seeker. Dancer the Seeker. I know everything's backwards, I'm sorry. So here's Dancer the Seeker, and we're gonna stretch our body on one leg, reaching for a target. Like a bow and arrow, we're gonna aim for the center, okay? So balance is really all about finding that ease, like a teeter-totter our mind is, and it goes back and forth. So what we're gonna try and do is find the center where we feel a little bit more balanced, and a little bit more even. And we're doing this through breathing and movement practices, right? Okay, so we're gonna try dancer. Take and reach your elbow to your hip and your palm faces up. Reach your arm back and see if you can kick your foot into your hand. Ooh, good job. If you can't grab your foot, no worries. Grab your pants and then we're gonna reach the other hand forward, okay? And we're gonna kick and stretch and kick and stretch and kick and stretch and you're just dancing. Whoa. Ooh. <sighs> oh, sorry, I fell out. Even if you fall out, that's okay. Do the best that you can. Let's try it again on the other side, okay? Falling out is okay because when we practice and practice and practice, it means that it gets easier, right? It's kind of like spelling and doing the alphabet. I mean, you didn't know how to do that right away, did you? Okay, so elbow to the hip. Hand reaches back, grab onto your foot, and then reach the other arm out. Ooh, 
feel kind of wobbly, so bring your knees together and lift your heart to the sky. And then reach your leg back, kicking and stretching. And remember, if you can't grab your foot, grab your pants. You've got this, kick and stretch and kick and stretch and whew, you did it. Oh, I'm so proud of all of you. You are finding new ways to move around big rocks or big things that are stuck in your mind. Hey, how are you, Leslie? All right, here we go. We're gonna do our hero's friend and dancer's friend. And we are going to do Pinky the Flamingo. Pinky the Flamingo is kind and steady and likes to balance her mind by standing on one leg. Let's try it. I don't know, remember, if we fall out, it's okay. Things are tough. But the thing is, it's about doing it over and over again so that we can be our best self. Let's try it. Whew. Hi everyone, I so appreciate you being here. Love you. All right, so here we go. Ready? We're gonna balance on one leg like Pinky the Flamingo. And do you know why flamingos are pink? It's because they like to eat a lot of shrimp and that makes their body, what the shrimps eat, makes a flamingo pink. So let's see if we can eat some shrimp like some flamingos. So step one foot forward, your hands are on your hips, and then reach the other leg back high. I love you, Les. Thanks for being there. And here you go. Kick your hands down towards the ground and try and eat all those shrimp. Oh, good job. Okay, and then reach your hands forward if you can. Ooh, I'm almost touching them all. And step your feet together. Whew. Arms come down by your sides. Okay, that was pretty good. We're gonna try it again. Are you ready? So. Um, our feet are down on the ground, our hands come to our hips. Let's try the other leg. We're gonna reach our foot up. Ooh, that was hard to balance. Let's try it again. Reach your foot up and then kick it back behind you. As you kick your foot back behind you, see if you can take your hands out. And if you can't, that's okay. Keep them to your hips. And then we're gonna try and eat some shrimp like Pinky the Flamingo. Oh my goodness, I'm grabbing all that food and I'm balancing and I'm doing it. Oh, I did it. Good job, everybody. I am so proud of you at how hard you're trying to balance and be there. So let's go back to visit our friend Tada, the standing dog. And we are going to just take some nice deep breaths as we stand tall after that hard pose, Pinky the Flamingo. Big breath in, good breath out. Big breath in, good breath out. Oh, so awesome, everybody. You are superheroes. Here we go. We're gonna move down to the ground and we're gonna do half the sandwich, right? So. I can't always eat a whole sandwich. I don't know if you can eat a whole sandwich, but I like to share. And when we share our treats, it's so nice. Um, what kind of sandwiches do you guys like? I like almond butter and ghee sandwiches. I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I like cheese sandwiches. I like pizza sandwiches. No, that's not a sandwich, but you know what I mean. Let's make a sandwich together. We're gonna take one leg out, a little bit wider than just straight ahead, and we're gonna take our foot of the other leg and put it inside. Okay, here we go, are you ready? Reach up to the sky, and exhale, fold. Well, that was good, let's try it again. Reach up to the sky, and breathe out and fold. Ooh, we're going a little deeper. Reach up to the sky, and fold as far over as you can and see if you can take your nose towards your toes. Mm, I'm trying so hard. I kind of am there. If I put my hands towards my nose, I can get there. <sighs> and then roll back up. We're gonna put our feet together like a butterfly 
and just sway from side to side, getting ready to switch sides. Oh, good job. Okay, now let's go the other side. Take the other leg out. Our heart is high, and we're gonna look out over the straight leg. As your foot presses into the straight leg, reach up like you're grabbing another piece of bread and you got the bottom piece with all the yummy goodness on it and you're gonna fold forward, exhaling. Inhaling up, exhale and fold. Inhaling up, exhale and fold. Whew. And this time, see if you can go just a little bit deeper. See, it's okay if your back is round. Just let your head be heavy as you pour out all of your thoughts. Breathing deeply. Roll yourself back up. Good job. Feet come back together. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit better. And from butterfly pose as we sway from side to side with our little antennas to the sky, we are gonna go into Om the Tortoise. I don't know if you can see this from that back there, but we are gonna visit the tortoise. The tortoise is really cool. I don't know, have you, you know when you hang out and you watch turtles, which are starting to come up out of the ground now that spring has sprung. We protect our body like a tortoise shell, right? Because they're hard, turtle shells are hard, and they protect you, and it keeps you mighty, wise, and well. So let's see if we can be like a tortoise, own the tortoise, and we're gonna take one hand under the legs, the other hand under the legs, and we're gonna wiggle our little fingers like the feet of a tortoise. Good, we're gonna look forward as we breathe in, and as we breathe out, face to the feet. Look forward, face to the feet. Look forward, face to the feet. Oh, look forward and face to the feet. Oh. All right, so we're all curled up like a little tortoise in its shell. And now we're gonna slowly come up out of the mud. We're gonna sway from side to side and we're gonna see if we can be a snapping turtle and we're gonna clap. Ooh, if you can't balance and you roll out, that's okay. But just see how good you are at balancing. I'm so proud of you. Woo! Oh, cross your feet. And after that one, let's go visit Moksha the mouse in the house. So here we go. Moksha the mouse likes to take three deep breaths while she practices being quiet to help balance our energies out right? How to balance our body and our mind so that we can stay healthy and happy. Let's try to reach our hands forward. And I like to make little squeaky um, ears for a mouse, right? But you don't have to. You can take one fist and then the other and place your forehead on your fist. Like two scoops of ice cream, we're just cooling off our head from all of our um, thoughts, right? So let's take Three deep breaths and fog up our mats, okay? Big breath in. Good breath out, fogging the floor up. Big breath in. Good breath out. Big breath in. know about you let's wag our tail as we come out from the mouse's house and we'll roll up to standing and stretch a little bit Whew. maybe have a dance party turn around oh I don't know about you but I'm feeling a little bit better that I can't see my friends and my heart feels a little bit lighter because I'm trying to find new ways to visit people. Let's see if we can finish our class together using maybe a pillow um, 
or maybe uh, your hands. And we're going to lay down and rest in dream time. And we're going to give ourselves an opportunity to just breathe and relax. And when we do that, we give ourselves an opportunity to renew our spirits so that we stay smiley, so that we think of new ways to connect with people. And when you find that happy stuff, oh, I love you too. Thank you for being present. Um, let's see if you allow yourself to take a couple deep breaths and play a little bit and stretch you can let go of all of those sad thoughts and have a better day so let's see if we can do our final breathing thing rest in dream time before we're done for today okay let's lay on down and we're going to make our pillows move can you help us make the pillow move or your hands if your hands are on your tummy you're going to lay down on your backs your hands are on the ground and your belly is going to rise and fall with the breath. Because sometimes when we're sad, I don't know if you know this, but we only breathe right here. And that's what makes our heart feel really heavy when we can't go and go to school and play with our friends. So let's see if we can breathe from our tummies. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Big deep breath. Belly rise. Belly fall. Belly rise, belly fall. Big breath in, good breath out. Big breath in, good breath out. Big breath in, good breath out. It's so quiet in our mind and my apartment slash recording studio that I can hear the guy playing the piano downstairs. Can you hear things that you're giving yourself time to put on your listening ears and listen to? I hope so. So as you come back to sit up, I want to know how you feel today after your practice. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Do you feel sour? That's a big thumbs down. Do you feel same? Which is like, okay, that's okay. We can feel okay. We're just trying to be the best person that we can be, right? And enjoy the moment. Or do you feel super like me? Well, I hope you all feel super. And I really appreciate and thank you for joining the team to breathe, stretch, and play. Remember that you are a superhero and balance is your superpower. All of the characters, right? All this fun stuff in the Super Stretch universe. Look forward to seeing you again at 247 Mindful Pathway. We'll be here four times a week as we partner with our friends at Bluma. I'm super excited. And we want you to stay calm courageous and happy.